New rules critics say are the strictest in the nation now in place for struggling Kansans. But the new law won't just impact people on welfare. 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan explains what it now means for organizations who help those in need. The Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program works like a debit card. People can use the card to buy items in stores or take out cash. Now, the new rules impose several restrictions, and it's already forced people to get help elsewhere. Raisin Bran, baby. Janice Witt packs up boxes daily. They're filled with household supplies and food for families in need. How are you? Okay. Excellent, excellent. We're going to get you taken care of. From the parking lot of Victory Dodge and KCK, WIT provides enough assistance for a month. You got 30 days, stretch it out. Okay, but on Thursday, WIT got a surge of calls from people needing to pick up. I didn't know why. I had no clue why. But typically, what happens is people will get a scare. Like someone will say the snow is coming or the rain is coming, and then you get a run to the grocery store. Well, for a lot of people, we are the grocery store. That scare was the state's new welfare benefit law. It's now believed to be the strictest in the country. The restrictions aim to prevent misuse of funds, but that's not how WIT sees it. Just because someone is sitting high up on their throne and they think that something is unnecessary for a normal life to move forward, doesn't make it so. Donnell Merritt and his daughter Deanna went to WIT for help, in part because they can't get help from the state. I understand why they do what they do. It, it hurts us, but we, what can we do? The new law limits ATM withdrawals from benefit cards. Now recipients can take out only $25 a day. Cards also can't be used at places like nail salons or casinos. But when we asked Deanna what she thought of not being able to go to movie theaters or swimming pools. I would just be sad because those are like two of my favorite things. So much so, it brought her to tears. It makes me sad, but I am here and I'm saying there's room at our table and we'll feed you. We will do our very best. Supporters say this sends a message that cash assistance should be used for necessities. Brownback touted that since he took office in 2011, the number of recipients dropped 63%. And for a full list of all of the restricted items, you can find them on our website at KSHB.com. Live in the studio, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.